Hey YouTube, I uh, I get nominated by Carolina Chris to do some Dutch oven cooking, and uh, well, I've been trying to think what I can cook, and really, I I've done a few videos of cast iron cooking, and I've done uh, chicken in a, in this year, and and my my uh, boiled dinner in this in this Dutch oven. I have a smaller Dutch oven too. It's a uh, five quart. Anyway, tonight's not going to be so much Dutch oven cooking as it's going to be my deep fry pot. I got some striped bass here. Uh, our river is loaded full of, of striped bass. This year we caught this back in May. I filleted it when they were fresh froze them and uh, I put them in the Ziploc bag or the freezer bag froze them and then sealed it so it didn't suck the juice out of them if uh, if you try zip or uh, uh, vacuum sealing these with the when they're still fresh I find it'll suck a lot of the juice out and dry your meat out a bit so anyway I'm not going to do beer batter um, sometimes I do beer batter sometimes I don't this time here is just going to be they're just going to be floured I'm going to put in an egg and milk wash and then in uh, corn uh, cornmeal and a light fry just a light batter it's uh, it's uh, been hot here lately and big heavy batter I don't feel like having it just a nice little light batter I was going to do it in my in my little pan and of course I could do it on my old cook stove but it's 30 degrees out Celsius and uh, too hot to get that lit here today. I don't know how the how they did it in the old days and heat like this and and still they had to cook. They still had to cook, so they still had to have a fire going. Anyway, let's get this started and uh, I'll show you once we're a little farther along. Now that pan, I don't know if I've showed you guys this pan. I think I have. That's uh, I got this a couple years ago. It's my 15 inch skillet. I love that pan. There's a lot of a lot of breakfast has been cooked in that so far. All right, I get my little assembly line set up here. Your your striped bass fillets, just uh, white flour. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in that. Egg and milk. That's got to be beaten up yet. I'm still waiting for the rice to be pretty near done and the oil to heat up. And your cornmeal, clean plate, and your pot with your oil. Like I said, this isn't really a Dutch oven cooking show, but or cooking video, but it's uh, something I wanted to uh, wanted to cook. And Chris had the video up now, challenging us for all oh, week and a half. And uh, I usually don't do videos just to do a video. I do whatever I'm doing, and Ed bring these along with me. So. Anyway, once they start frying and start coming out of the pot, I'll uh, I'll give you a look at what they look like and show you uh, show you how good they look. And I've I've eaten bass lots. So they're they're good like this. Bass is good anyway. Like they're white fish. Uh, bake them or do them on the barbecue or even just plain fry them just like that. Just salt and pepper and fry them just like that is is good as well. Um, when you're cleaning them. I don't know about other bass because uh, all we have to fish around here where I live, all I've ever fished is striped. Now, that dark piece in there, there's a lot of strength of the, of the fish in that. The rest of it isn't that strong a, f a flavor of fish, but if uh, the more of that you can take off, the less, uh, the less real fishy taste you'll get. I know it sounds stupid, I'm cooking fish, but... There, there is some fish that are stronger than others. Anyway, let's. Uh, I'll bring these back out when, uh, when we get a little closer to the. Oh, something else, true to uh, Chris's videos. I had to have a, have a beer with him. This is not a stump beer. This is just a regular beer from the fridge, Chris. And there's half of them. As you can see, nice white, flaky meat. 
nice thin batter And, uh, and a little also tight bass. We had, we had quite a bit in the spring and then give it a break. And my favorite fish to fry. Anyway, get at her and do the other half of these and uh, get supper on the table. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with showing you rice. You all know what it looks like and tastes like. And just a little look at some of the fish we we catch and cook around here and uh, thanks for tagging me Chris get my old uh, old girl out she hasn't been out in a little while I can't remember the last thing I cooked in it it's probably another boiled dinner is either that or chicken that's usually what I cook in it anyway you guys have a good day and thanks for watching